Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here and joining me to unbox Xbox One X, Tom Morgan. Hello there, how's it going? Not too bad. So this is the final retail packaging for the Xbox One X, not the Project Scorpio edition. So if you're going into a shop to buy an Xbox One X, you're not getting this fantastic limited edition, you're getting this particular model, which I'm sure is equally fantastic. But uh, we shall be uh, literally unboxing it before your very eyes. And uh, this is, I mean, most of the time when people do an unboxing video, they have actually unboxed it, then they put everything back in. We are going in completely, it's a complete unknown. We just don't know what's in there. My guess, a console. So <laughs> let's have a look at the box first. Looks sure. very nice. Um, I don't really know what to say apart from that. It, the, the great stuff is inside, so... Let's get this open then, shall we? Yes, yeah, somebody's right. already opened it. It's not us, so I guess maybe they were just checking that it, you know, we had working samples and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, to begin with, what do we got there? So, we've got Xbox Game Pass at the top. And so, this is the subscription service where you can download go. a big bunch of games. Good. So, let's take that out. That mm -hmm. is like the, uh, the, the leaflets you get with everything. Right, let's go for accessories next. Why not? Mm -hmm. Now, when we got our original Xbox Ones, we had like day one edition uh, like inscribed onto the bottom yes. of the cons uh, controller, which so was the, nice. Yeah, the equivalent of that will be the Project Scorpio edition, OC. I think, which That'd be isn't nice. this. This okay. is the standard console, but yeah, what do we got? We do have a controller, obviously. obviously. Okie doke. And uh, if we get that open, there we go. I suspect it will look like an Xbox One controller. There it yes. is, an Xbox One controller. There we go. Well, it's certainly a lot newer and cleaner than the ones that have been <laughs> going around our office uh, by this point, after years of use, yeah. four mm -hmm. years. Let's have a look. Yeah, and there's uh, batteries included as okay. well. Okay, good. So, nice. And, of course, a HDMI cable. There's a bit of variance in what HDMI cables can do. You know, not all are born well, alike. But actually, when I was at Microsoft, they were talking about how good their HDMI cable is and how they reckon it is one of the finest <laughs> HDMI. You, you might laugh, but in terms yeah. of signal transmission, bandwidth, etc., error correction, they reckon that this cable is awesome for the purpose and one of the best that you can possibly get. So, so thing ah, here. something else. Uh, that's power. Ooh, power we've cable. got. Uh, yeah, this yeah. was imported from the US, so um, we have got some UK cables, but this is a US model with a US cable. A quick adapter will sort that. No big power block for this one. This no, is all... the, uh, just like Xbox One S, the power supply is inside the console, just like PlayStation, which is the way it should be, I think. No more biding for time at this point. It is just the console left. And we've got this and this. Okay. Now, Quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah, this has weight to it for sure. But what a small, neat looking console. Uh, nice matte finish on top. Vents on either side. Looks nice. And it's pretty much all matte around, which I really prefer. It's in line with the Xbox One S uh, styling in, mm. in that regard anyway. I was never fond of the glossy uh, direction. Uh, yeah, we I went mean, in at the start of this generation on Xbox One, so. The, the problem I had with the Xbox One original plastics was that, you know, I basically breathed on them and there was like hairline scratches on there. It was, it, it just got really scuffed up within yeah. days of owning it. Matt is definitely the way to go. So the big debate, the big question is whether it is indeed smaller than Xbox One S. And we can put that to the test right now. Right. Because I have right here in my mortal hand, Xbox One S. So let's put that down or actually let's put let's it up. Go vertical. So this. That's one thing, of course, the Project Scorpio edition, which we don't have here, has the vertical stand. So uh, so I think it's a little wider. A little, a tiny bit. We can get a good view of that a here. taller in this case. Um, yeah, it's a bit taller. Xbox One S is a bit wider. Yes. By a small fraction, but the uh, X is taller mm -hmm. by the smallest margin, definitely. <laughs> That is very impressive, given the power that's in this. Well, you know, basically about 1.4 teraflops in this one, 6 teraflops in this one, bearing in mind the huge gulf in computational power and the extra heat that's going to be generated, the fact that they've been able to integrate such a vastly improved console into the same form factor. So let's take a look at the back. Actually, let's do them side by side, both side consoles. Side by side? Yeah. yeah. 
because there's another thing which we can confirm here, which is the cable placement. Now, I've been told by Microsoft that it's the same. So, uh, how does that work in practice? All right, Ethernet, optical, infrared out. Yep. Two USB 3 ports there, and then your HDMI in, and uh, then HDMI out as well. Okay, and then the power input. And power, yeah. So, and it is actually a mirror of what's on the S. So, the you know, now. these two consoles are of the same family. I think, you know, yeah. with the Xbox uh, One S, kind of like a return to form for Microsoft in terms of console design. Mm. I mean, let's wheel out the set-top box device. This is the original OG Xbox One. Never a big fan of the presentation of it, to be honest. No, I mean, it was really hampered by the fact you couldn't hold it, have it vertical. Uh, and it oh, was that's always, right. yeah. always one of the big advantages of the S was you could go that route if you wanted. And uh, same goes for the X as well. Yeah. So. I mean, I like having the vertical option because it's kind of like less of a footprint on your TV cabinet if you've yeah. got it going vertically. But uh, so. not everyone uh, can, can get away with it, so it's nice to have it. I think in terms of ventilation, I've always preferred vertical overall. Right. Um, yeah, that's always been my preference. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, fantastic. Uh, we've got one more comparison to make, and it's an we apt do. one as well. Yeah, uh, we do have the, uh, the PS4 Pro here. I'll stick these near my chip. So here we go, PlayStation 4 Pro. It's smaller. Obviously with the Pro, yeah. it was a case of uh, the console being significantly larger than the slim version. That's how they stack up, obviously, in terms of volume, I think. Yeah, X. Xbox One X does win out, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit higher, if that matters, maybe like a millimetre. Footprint, I mean, looking here side on, the footprint is obviously quite a lot larger. Quite interesting that the Xbox One X, 6 teraflop versus 4.2. Yeah. And yet, at the actual processor level, it's only got four extra compute units. The proof will be in the pudding in terms of how it uh, sounds, the acoustics, when yeah. we boot this thing up, which we can't do now. It's a boxing, unboxing, so uh, it felt like Microsoft from the start uh, overcompensated uh, in order yeah. to keep the heat profile and the, the acoustics right on the original Xbox One. And I, you know, for as much as you love or hate the design, that was one thing it did get right. Yeah, it had that massive fan in there inside, yeah. so it's going to be interesting to see the noise profile of this thing. And um, yeah, power consumption, heat, all of that we shall be analysing for the full review. Cool. Okay. There well, it is. Xbox One X, there it is. Okay, well, that's it for now. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you'd like to see our work, and if you don't want to miss a thing, you won't want to miss our full hardware review, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, thanks for that, Tom. No worries. Thanks for opening the box and confirming that there was a console inside. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> but that's all for now. Thanks for watching.